Good evening and welcome back to Saturday Night Sports. This is Adam and it is time to go into tour number nine on Outlaw Golf 2. The poll is in, the results are available, and we're going with the Mac Daddy himself, Ice Trey. Or at least he hopes he's the Mac Daddy, quite frankly. This guy's about as legit as crisscross. But anyway, not gonna go crazy with the intros here, just gonna Get going. Okay, Ice Tray and Fresh Fruit. Mac Daddy Extraordinaire, Ice Tray can bust a rhyme and putt at the same time. His game is off the hizzy for shizzy. And it's clear a white guy definitely wrote that. And we are starting a Turnpike Valley. Going up against Harvest and Summer in a skins game. Welcome to the Turnpike Valley Golf Course, voted the most beautiful destination in New Jersey. Just beating out the petroleum plant in Bayonne, the Spoon Museum in Lyndhurst, and the Fat Rendering Center in Clifton. Somebody pinch me! By the way, try not to make eye contact with the local population unless you're prepared to explain what your problem is. Straight out of the impoverished confines of Rodeo Drive, this gated community gangster puts the rap in crap. After his debut album, Me Rap Good, sold only one copy, Ice Trey hung up his turntable and dusted off his clubs for a shot of golfing glory. Caddying for everyone's favorite trust fund thug is Ice Trey's partner in rhyme, Fresh Fruit. Harvest is a true free spirit who believes in free love, free speech, and the freedom to beat the crap out of anyone who disagrees with her. When she's not burning her bra or braiding her armpit hair, Harvest can be found smacking the Mother Earth out of recycled golf balls. Paul in her bag is Tree Hugger, her granola munching, tie dyed, sexually repressed caddy. Better hide the stash. Born and raised in New York City, this Columbia University PhD is a triple threat. Brains and boobs. When she's not in the science lab or getting dollars tucked into her G-string, Summer's hobbies include public indecency, one-night stands, and of course, golf. Carrying Summer's clubs today is her pole dancing sidekick and hot body double, Autumn. Yippee, the ninth! Okay, this is your typical Garden State variety 410 yard par 4. Built under two interstate highway overpasses. <coughs> yes, I'm allergic to exhaust fumes, so I really hate this hole. I'm also allergic to dust mites, pet dander, and penalis spores. So keep your damn penalis away from me, okay? Our first golfer is Ice Tray. Well, let's see how well Ice Tray plays. Someone get the president on the horn. That ball is going ballistic. Put a lot of topspin on there to get under the highway. If you have low self-esteem, this should help. Teeing off second is... Harvest. Nice! Give that ball a gold star. Walking softly, carrying a big club, is... Summer. That's what we in the biz call a money shot. Someone tip the fluffer. Second shot. And now they're having the punch just to get under that one. Ooh, that ball landed worse than a blind guy on a college dive team. Second shot. 
I swear, if Summer's gonna hit the beach like that, she could at least be wearing a bikini. good for your game summer is stuck in the sand on the bright side you might strike oil third shot you know the law of averages says this could be a good one but then again it could suck that's the thing with averages what do I know what am I a, a math teacher Harvest is smacking to try for poor, and since I'm a pessimist, head straight for Bogeyland. One word, nice putt. Okay, so I failed math. Let that be a lesson to you kids. Stay in school. Ice tray is lining up for a tasty birdie. Okay, let's angle it a little more. You can add it up any way you like, but in the end, we're done here, folks. Better hold off on that Prozac refill. Well, that's the first skin. Here we are at the eighth. Ay caramba! This 213 yard par 3 is muy short. I have nothing against shortness, but as a man of great stature, I find myself constantly looking down on short people. Sometimes I see the tops of their heads, but mostly I am gazing at cleavage. Ah, it is good to be tall. Nice contact on that one. What's wrong with this picture? Oh yeah, that shot. <laughs> Someone once asked me if this game ever made it to PC. No, it hasn't. And I guess it's kind of a good thing because, let's face it. Damn, that was a stinky shot. Someone get a match. Let's face it, is this... Second shot. Let's face it, if this game went to PC, someone would have modded in a new code. Nothing wrong with that shot. Second shot. No one should complain about that shot. That's my job. To sink a birdie. Nice 
contact on that one. I think I'm about to cry. No, it's just gas. Forget 12-step groups. You're doing just fine on your own. Summer is tapping to nail this one for poor. Hey, whoa! Who's got a white flag? What the hell was that, Summer? Nicely done! Well, this hole ends in a dead heat. Crap! This hole's 476 yards. Thank God it's a par five, because the fairway's longer than a bunch of football fields. Not that all football fields are bad. After all, I lost my virginity on one with Tony DiPaolo. Yep, right on the 50-yard line. My only regret is I wish it happened after the game. Tony always did have a problem performing in front of a crowd. What a drive! I believe we've broken a record! That was piss poor! And how much poor can you get than piss? Harvest, you screwed up. It was supposed to go into the water. Summer is ready to stroke it. There's a shot worth forgetting. Second shot. That's weak. Second shot. You know what? After how difficult Killer Miller's tour was, I guess it's kind of nice to do one that looks like looks like it's going to be very easy. Loser, party of one, your table's ready. Second shot. Third shot. Out my eye! Looking at the bright side, a mediocre shot is now going to be a sight for sore eyes. Third shot. At this point, Harvest probably wishes she hit the water. Time to pat somebody on the back. And while you're at it, I'll take a hot old body rub. Fourth shot. Might be time to pull the goalie. How lucky can you get? Here's a gimme. 
And don't say I never did anything for you. Fourth shot. That's a good looking ball. I'm strangely attracted to it. To drop this one in for par. Ouch! I've slept with circus midgets that aren't as short as that. Ice tray has this putt to drop this putt in for one hot eagle. Personally, I like my eagle cold, maybe with a little hot sauce, but then I'm a communist. Nice stroke, nice putt, nice job. That putt has just set a record, and records are meant to be broken, so don't get cocky. Eagle, yo! Take me for my victory lap, man! Uh, I said victory lap, not sloppy zigzag ziggity! Yeah, well, I'd like to see you run a circle hopped up on pears and malt liquor. Pez and malt liquor. Check out the sixth. This here be a 350 yard par four. I ain't ever seen a building that big before. The biggest structure I was ever laid my eyes on was when Stucky Gibb built a two decker outhouse onto his mom's mobile home. If you ever get the privilege to unleash your bowels in there, I recommend using the second floor. Trey, you and me make a good team. Hey, we should go to Hollywood and star in one of them buddy cop movies. We can be in Starsky and Chump. I ain't, but I get to be Chump this time. I get the feeling fresh fruit is Chump every time. Okay, it will end up in the rough, but I'll have a very easy approach. Because that's an insane shot. Well, so much for being in the zone. That shot left skid marks. That'll work. Guess that ball must have a better agent than me. Way to go! Second shot. Whoop de doo, we're on the green. Second shot. Way to lay it up and on. Second shot. Wow! If I was any more excited about that shot, I'd need a tissue and an apology. Yeah. 
Hey, it's damn good to be in the zone. Or so they tell me. Harvest is putting up a slight incline for a birdie. No pressure. Hit it already! Now that's what I call a stroke of genius. <laughs> Get it? Ice Tray is hoping to sink a birdie. That's just the kind of putt you want to bring home to mom. Summer is eyeing this putt to make a birdie. School must be in session because that was some textbook putting. Okay, looks like we're going to be pushing on this hole. Say hello to the fifth. Wow, this hole starts off real pretty with lots of trees and a nice pond and everything. But then it gets kind of gross with big ugly buildings and factories and stuff. Oh gosh, I hope Daddy doesn't own those, because if he does, then I think they're really, really nice. Did I mention it's a 490 yard par five? Because it is. Did anyone get the license number on the truck that hit that ball? Ice tray is about to launch it off the tee in 10, 9, 8. That ball was crushed! I'm in pain just thinking about it. Second shot. Second shot. Concentrate. Second shot. That'll score a nine point six with the German judge. For a strike up the band, where's the parade eagle?
Okay, aim's about right. I no power's about right. Need I just need to aim a wee bit more. Oh come on! Well, nice contact on that one. I think I'm about to cry. No, it's just gas. That ball is practically licking the hole. Is anybody else turned on by that? My game is fresh. I'm gonna get laid. Bumping some ass in Escalade. I. No one saw that, right? Nope. Just all of us watching. I. Cool. Third shot. Okay, Summer's gonna get the skin. Harvest has an opportunity for a shot at birdie. Now that's a nice putt, golf fans. Scoring a birdie is so liberating. It just makes me want to rip up all my clothes and stand naked under a waterfall that's cascading down my quivering body. It was the waterfall, wasn't it? Tell the truth. Summer is attempting for a remarkable eagle. I'm a dog man, sorry. Nice butt, and that's all that matters. Wanna give him something to really cheer about? I thought you'd never ask. I could have done without the sound effects. Here we are at the fourth. Hola, mi amigos. I must confess, this hole is 356 yards. However, if you have the cojones to finish it in four strokes, you will achieve par. Now excuse me while I familiarize myself with an unfamiliar woman. Summer is about to tee off. Can't you feel the excitement in my pants? I mean, air in the air. In the air, I mean. Yeah. Pretty good. I take that. I can't say enough about that shot, nor do I want to. Ice Tray is on the tee and anxious to prove that failure is not genetically predetermined. Good shot. Second shot. Nice. Somebody send over the cocktail waitress. I want to start celebrating immediately. Okay, second shot. Too early to panic. Second shot.
Oh, got a good one off here. What goes up must come down, and down it comes, perfectly on the green. For a shot at birdie in all its glory. Whoa! That puck came up well short of the hole. Someone appears to have a little depth perception problem. This green is going to break just a hair to the right, which is fun to say when you're bald. Everyone having a good laugh? Nice putt, and that's all that matters. Ice Train is preparing to sink a birdie. Houston, I think we have a golfer. By my calculations, this hole is mathematically over. Are you feeling it, Trey? Yeah, man, I am feeling it. Hey, what are we feeling again? I don't know. You're the one who said, are you feeling it? I only said it because I thought you knew. Knew what? Hell, I don't know. We're here at the third. This is a 201 yard par three complete with an oil refinery, waste management buildings in the distance, and the lingering stench of raw sewage. I love Jersey so much. I hope to retire here one day. Give hop, hooray! Ho! Oh, speaking of hoes, that rash didn't clear up, did it? on that one. Yeah. That is one caffeinated golf ball. Harvest is at the tee and getting ready to spank the ball like a naughty little schoolgirl. Boom! Set a course for the Viridian system. Maximum warp. Come on. You knew we'd get to a Star Trek joke sometime. Summer is preparing to putt downhill to seek a birdie. Now that's what I call a stroke of genius. <laughs> Get it? I've got a killer combo. Brains, ooh, and booty. Harvest is concentrating for a birdie or execution by firing squad. <laughs> How's that for motivation? Nice stroke, nice putt, nice job. And we've got ourselves a tie. Uh... Where the hell am I? Yep, it's the second.
This one here looks to be 350 yards and a par four. A little more than midway through, there's a good old bend, like my cousin Harlan's injured back. But hey, that's what that pea brain gets for trying to milk a bull. That there bull milk is sticky. Hey, it was this course. You knew fully well the jizz joke was going to come in. How sad is it that I played so much of this game now that Clem doesn't face me anymore? Not bad. Harvest is preparing to smack the bejesus out of the bowl. Yeah! Wow, someone just went medieval on that ball. That's good for a record. Personally, I prefer CDs, but that's just me. Second shot. Okay, second shot. Too early to panic. Pretty shot. Trust me on this, because I'm an expert on ugly. Second shot. make a birdie. School must be in session because that was some textbook putting. Congratulations! That putt has earned a spot in the record books. For a shot at birdie. Houston, I think we have a golfer. This hole ends in a tie. My doctor says the proper way to pick up stuff is by bending at the knees. I got plenty of practice. Poor guy couldn't stop dropping his pen. Here we are at the first. This hole is 371 yards of Jersey's finest which is not even close to the high standards I'm used to. First off, it's open to the public. <laughs> I mean, what is that all about? And what's with those overpasses and power lines? Ew, they can call it a par four, but it's subpar to me. Amazing. 
amazing what a little dumb luck will do for your shot. Harvest is about to drive it off the tee. I can practically taste the excitement. Or maybe I just need new gum. That shot makes me want to become a better person. Second shot. Looks like someone's going home alone tonight. Boo hoo. Second. It is disappointing you can't nail the geese. You can nail the spectators, you can't nail the geese. Like a deacon at a Boy Scout convention. Talk about an uncomfortable lie. Second shot. Concentrate. Still on the green. Talk about a lucky break. That's almost like tongue kissing a frog and getting a hot stripper. Or at least two twins. You know, well, actually, it's nothing like that at all. Third shot. Third shot. To make par and prove once and for all that being average is pretty damn average. Enjoy the gimme and Merry Christmas. I think this putt it's all over. Okay, power's about right, I just need to angle it. Short might have worked for Webster, but it sure doesn't work for this putt. Harvest is attempting to putt for par. One word, nice putt. Okay, so I failed math. Let that be a lesson to you kids. Stay in school. Okay, some are bogeyed, so... 
to sink one for par. Some are bogeyed, so there should so I should end up the winner. Nicely done. These players are all knotted up. Sounds kinky. That concludes this round, people. And much to my shock and amazement, our winner is... Ice Train! You did it, dog! Congratulations. That's about all the time we have on this game. Please remember to lock up on your way out. Okay. Next event is at Krusty Leaf. And it's gonna be match play against Killer Miller. I thought it would have been a while before I had to deal with him again. Oh well. Well, Outlaw Golf 2 is almost finished. This is tour number 9. After I complete Ice Tray's tour, then there's Mr. Suki, and then that'll be the end. Seems weird coming this close to the end at this point. After all, this was the game that started the whole channel. Anyway, like what I'm doing, give a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Have any questions, comments, suggestions on what I could do later? Go ahead and drop them in the comments below or submit them on Twitter. Handle's right there. Next time we're continuing on Outlaw Golf 2. Take care and game on.